Welcome back everybody. Today I finally got my hands on a free metal trash can. If you don't know me that well yet, I love free stuff and I will have a project in mind and I'll wait until I get these things for free until I start that project. And so today I'm going to be making a Faraday cage out of this metal trash can. If you don't know what a Faraday cage is, it's basically a metal screen or a shield to protect electronics against uh, electromagnetic and electrostatic influences. So like an EMP attack, it, this would keep my electronics safe from. Building one of these is super cheap and easy. And obviously you're gonna have a lot of space to protect a bunch of electronics. All you need is the old metal trash can or maybe new metal trash can, a roll of this ventilation metal tape and then a large cardboard box you want to try and keep the cardboard in as few pieces as possible so i'm going to try and be making just three pieces the rim there the outer wall and then the bottom and then the lid i'm also going to be using a roll of duct tape to secure the cardboard to the trash can itself so i did already start uh, all i did was take the cardboard box apart take all the tape off and then I pretty much just rolled it up to break in all the, the cardboard to where it fits inside the uh, trash can better. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all these flaps off. So then I just have one long piece that's gonna fit in there almost perfect. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of trimming around the rim. So the whole point of the cardboard is to basically insulate the electronics from the metal trash can, because if this is getting hit by uh, electromagnetic frequencies or pulses or whatever. Uh, you don't want your electronics touching this because the, uh, the current's basically gonna be going around all your electronics through this to a ground. I've got the cardboard in here. I'm gonna try and fit it as best I can since the trash can tapers from the ground and gets wider at the top. It's a little bit hard to fit it in. I'm gonna have to tape it up a little bit off camera and then cut it right down on the end. We want this to fit in there as best as I can without it exposing any of the metal. And then I'm gonna put a bottom in and then put a piece on the lid. So I just got the wall piece cut all the way down. So we're gonna go ahead and throw it in. And I just gotta, yeah, that'll fit pretty good. I just got to, uh, Tape it on each end and then secure it all the way around um, after I get a bottom piece cut out and fit in. So all I'm doing for the bottom piece is tracing out a circle from the bottom. I'm going to cut it out a tiny bit smaller. I'm going to shove that guy down there with some uh, double-sided duct tape. So there's a damn near perfect circle that's going to fit down there. Very nice. Gotta, just gotta squish it in there nice and good. Make sure that it's not gonna come up. Now before you put your sidewall cardboard in, you're gonna wanna take this tape and cover any holes where maybe the handles are installed or anything where any holes are in the trash can. So that includes these handles on the sides and the handle on the lid. So once you're done taping these uh, attachment points for the handles, it should look something like this. You can go a little bit more if you want. I did uh, two layers for each uh, attachment point. Um, it's kind of, I feel like this is kind of bare bones, but if I had more tape, I would definitely go a whole lot more, a whole lot bigger patches. And then there we go. I got the lid all sealed up. Now, something that I'm gonna do to make the adhesive kind of bond to the metal a little bit more is use a uh, torch and just Go over it lightly, you know, for a second to heat up the adhesive and get it to stick better. Literally just gonna hit it up a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna hit up these guys, which I'm gonna want two hands for. So I'm just gonna put in a piece of duct tape right here to get the hold started. And then we're gonna slowly work our way around making sure that it's always flush with the uh, the walls of the trash can. Make sure that when you're putting the duct tape on, you uh, tuck it under this lip because later we're gonna trim it right here so that then the metal tape has a good connection on both ends of the, uh, the, the, the main part of the trash can to the lid. 
So now we've got the bottom and the walls of the can fully insulated. Um, down here, rather, the main wall of the cardboard started to come up, so I had to shove uh, a piece of cardboard back there to where no electronics can touch the metal of the trash can right there at the bottom. So we got the insulation fitted into the lid. So we can fit it on here. Get the lid all the way on and then go around and cut these pieces of duct tape at a little bit of an upward angle to where when you uh, seal it with the tape, it's gonna have a good connection. And uh, it's basically gonna turn it into one solid piece of metal. So I've cut off the duct tape strips from here. And now at this point, you can put in whatever electronics that you wanna protect in here. And then we're gonna seal it up with the tape all around the rim. Right now, I'm not gonna seal it off because I don't have all the electronics in it yet. Um, but you can seal it off if you want and then you're done. And you can store it away and wait for something to happen. Hopefully nothing does happen. But if it does, you are prepared with electronics. You know, you can put radios in, power banks, solar panels, really anything that you want in there. And it's not going to be compromised from an EMP attack. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure that you go like and subscribe and go check out my other videos.